Enthusiasm family. This is Mark Ruckles, and I'm going to speak with you again on the subject of family. The last time we spoke, I mentioned that uh, humility is a key ingredient for harmony in your home. And I'm not going to speak much more on humility, but I do want to cover a passage tonight where I believe we will see humility being played out in the home. And so what passage am I speaking of? Of course, the most uh, famous passage regarding family relationships, probably in the Bible, Ephesians chapter 5. So if you would, please turn there with me to Ephesians chapter 5. I'm going to start in verse 20. Verse 20 starts this way, always giving thanks for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God, even the Father, and be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. And now Paul is going to begin explaining how being subject to one another looks in the family unit. He starts in verse 22 saying, wives, be subject to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ also is the head of the church, he himself being the savior of the body. But as the church is subject to Christ, so also the wives ought to be to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her, so that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word that he might present to himself the church in all her glory, having no spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she would be holy and blameless. So husbands ought also to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his own wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ also does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is great, but I am speaking with reference to Christ and the church. Nevertheless, each individual among you also is to love his own wife even as himself, and the wife must see to it that she respects her husband. Chapter 6, verse 1. Children... Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment or the promise, so that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and the instruction of the Lord. We'll stop right there. So what we see in these in this passage is a, as we see in verse 21, it says, to be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. And so we're seeing here how that subjection to one another looks. Uh, I'm going to key on, on just a, a few verses in this passage to talk about. Verse 22 says, wives, be subject to your own husbands as to the Lord. That subjection to your husband, uh, when the wife subjects herself to the husband, is to rank herself under that the husband for the purpose of a common goal. And so wives uh, certainly are more dynamic. Um, in many cases, they run the home, they uh, cook, they clean, they do those kind of things. That's what my wife does. And she could certainly run the home by herself. But she uh, ranks herself under me for the purpose of common goal. And that goal is the godliness in our home. Now, husbands are command is that we are to love our wives as Christ loved the church. How did Christ love the church? He gave himself up for her. He bled and died for her. Uh, he sacrificed himself for her. How does that self-sacrificial love look? Uh, husbands are to nourish and cherish their wives. It tells us here that we, um, we are joined to our wives spiritually become one. So um, anybody who doesn't love his wife doesn't love himself. Um, and so we are to give self-sacrificial love to our wives. We are to submit that to them. That's how this mutual submission is to be done between husbands and wives. And then children are to obey their parents in the Lord, not only because it is a 
Uh, it says here that it's the first commandment with a promise, but think about this. Children should obey their parents because, because they were sovereignly placed in that family by the God, by the Lord. And so as children submit themselves, they're really submitting themselves to the sovereignty of God because he has placed them in that family. And then finally, the last verse that we read was uh, verse 4 of chapter 6, which says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger. When we as fathers, as parents, seek to teach our children, we are to do so uh, in a firm but gentle way. We are to do it in such a way that it doesn't provoke them to anger. It doesn't cause them to be distressed. And so there is a submission of sorts with parents submitting themselves to their children uh, in such a way that they love them tenderly but firmly. And so there is... Uh, Mutual submission on the part of everybody in the home. And so uh, there should be no heavy handed um, dealings with anyone in the home. Husbands shouldn't deal that way with their wives. Wives shouldn't deal that way with the children. Children um, shouldn't submit to their parents. And so we see there's a mutual submission all the way around. And what is the key ingredient to that? Humility. As we humble ourselves and put the needs of others above ourselves. So let's pray tonight that um, I'm going to pray with you. Let's pray that we would uh, submit ourselves one to another in the fear of the Lord and submit ourselves to the roles that he has given us in the home. And as we do, we will see that we, the, the, the purpose, the goal that we have for doing that is godliness in the home. So let's pray together. Father, we do pray tonight, God, that you would uh, help us, Lord. We come to you, God, by faith in Christ, and we ask that you would help us to submit to the roles that you've given us, God. Uh, we pray, Father, that uh, as husbands we would uh, love our wives as Christ loved the church. We pray for our wives, God, that you would help them to rank themselves under uh, for the purpose of a common goal, God. And we pray for our children. God, not only for their salvation, but also, God, that they would um, submit themselves to the authority of uh, their parents, God, because really, God, they're submitting themselves to you. And so, Lord, we pray for all of these things, God, this mutual submission to be found in the home, God, as we humble ourselves, Lord, for the purpose of godliness. We ask for your help, Lord, God, that we would see a greater amount of godliness, Lord, in our homes. We ask these things, God, for Christ's sake and in his name. Amen.